Hi guys, Bullet here. Um, I just wanted to take the time to make a video tutorial tutorial of uh, Generic Mod Enabler, which is a nifty piece of software which a lot of the guys who actually do the mods for World of Tanks recommend, and a lot of the stuff you get is already set up to be able to use this. It's a really easy way to basically put a mod into your game, keeps your game tidy, you know what you've got, you know where it is, um, and you can have multiple mods and you can switch them on and off if there's a particular one you don't like. So generic mod enabler. Effectively what you need to do is put it in your directory. I've got a nice easy shortcut for mine, which is world of tanks, obviously C games, world of tanks, this may differ from your setup. So after you've downloaded it, you've unpacked it, what you want to do is put it in here. And there we go. JGS, JSGME. Now, what you'll also notice is as soon as I open this up, it's added another file in here, which is basically called mods. This is where, when you open that up, you'll find all your mods in there. You can delete them out of there if you don't like them. Um, you can also delete them from here. Here you have available mods and activated mods. Obviously I've got nothing on there yet, it's completely new install. So what I'm going to do for you here now is just show you how easy it is really. So here's some mods I downloaded for 8.9. Some I've already unpacked. Basically I've not found a single mod so far which you cannot use with generic mod enabler sound mods xvm anything site mods they all work it's just such an easy way to do it so what i've got here let's do a nice easy one which is we'll extract the files here so i've unpacked it so xvm test 2 and what you'll notice is when i look in here we're following a path really. You've got res mods, 0 0.8.9, you've got XVM, GUI scripts. This is already set up to be used in here. But if it's not, you will have to set it up yourself. So what you're gonna need to do is you drop it in that side. And what we'll find is in our one here is world of tanks now inside the mods file is put xvm test 2 again if you're setting some of this up yourself you, you, I, you do have to follow this path it's basically the path you would use when putting the mod in anyway the only difference is you want to name it so you know what it is when it's in there and the rest of it it does automatically so now what we're going to do is effectively i'll show you it a replay here Right, so here we are on Abbey. I have no mods activated whatsoever. As you can see, it's completely vanilla. Vanilla sound, vanilla sight, vanilla everything. If you like vanilla, great. Personally, I don't. I believe that a mod is an interesting addition to the game and it makes the game a lot more interesting as well. Let's speed things up, try and get to some action. Let's go! When I think of uh, it wasn't for the mods and modding um, community, I don't think I'd be playing this game as long as I have. It's just, you know, changes the game for the better, I think. Don't know exactly what I was doing there. I think it was about my third game on the back chat, to be honest. You know, you can find a bit of a target there. Penetration! Enemy armor is hit! Critical hit! They're knocked out! And that was the end of his game. Alright, let's see what this same... Um, 
replay looks like with some mods activated and how easy it is to do. Right, here we go. We're going to add some mods to a generic mod enabler. I've already added a crosshair mod. Here's an example. I've just um, unpacked XVM. It comes out as res mods. So I created uh, an XVM5 folder. So I cut that from there. Put that in there. Drag that over there. And that's as easy as that to start enabling these mods. So that's to put a couple of extra ones in here. I've put all my sound mods in one nice easy folder, just to give you an idea that that works. Um, and what else can we see here that maybe, let's have a look. I think that'll do for now, just to give you an idea of just how easy this is to do. So what I always do is start XVM first. Let's stick a crosshair in, put my sound mods in. There you go, don't worry at all about this. It's overwriting something that's already in there, that's fine. What you will find is XVM sometimes has additions to it which works with the crosshairs. Um, and I think they've got like a damage, an accurate damage indicator in there as well these days. If you add something different, all this does is tell you that yes, it's, um, it's something already there and you're overwriting it. So your crosshair for instance will probably overwrite something in XVM. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Right, let's try that now. We'll go on to a replay and we'll see how we get on from there. Let's we'll just see how well this works. Right, let's go in here. As you can see, first thing you'll see is um, that XVM's working down there. My site mod's working. And you'll hear all the sound mods working as well. Okay, bridge pointed on there. Engine's change. Let's go to somewhere where we can hear some shooting. let's make some changes to one of the mods what I'm going to do is I'm going to put something else into XVM5 which is basically um, if you're aware of the forum and um, there is a forum my avatar pack so you can get your um, avatar on XVM right what you need to do with if you're going to try make any changes to any existing mods is you need to disable the mods that are in there as well if you don't I mean, you can do one at a time. I tend to just do them all. Um, if you don't, then um, you will. It will not make any changes. It'll be like you've never done anything. So I've just unpacked the forum avatar pack. You've got the res mods again. So let me cut that out of there. You have to go into the mods file. There's XVM5. There's res mods. Let's paste that in there. What you got in here in XVM? And hopefully, if I've done it properly, which is not always the case, do that. What I'll add as well is, although I haven't got six cents on that particular one, I'm going to put a six cents mod in there. What else have we got? High visibility railway carriages. Uh, this is probably the most 
put some of them in there. So again, let's just add them. What I've learned with this as well is if you the last one you put in will always overwrite the first one. So for instance, if I'd have put sixth sense in first, um, and then use something that overwrite the uh, config file in there, then sixth sense won't work. So you just have to be aware of that. The basically the last one that you've put in will be active, and you do have to do a bit of juggling sometimes. Some mods do clash. I've never been able to get um, Lakistan's um, ultimate announcer, whatever it is called. It does the countdowns and that. Um, obviously, I'm using something else which overwrites that. I'm guessing if I put it in last, it might work, but then it will overwrite something else. So you just have to be aware of that, really. Right, here we go. Um, back on Abbey again, obviously. As you can see, my avatar has now changed to the bullet. My uh, clan members are still the clan emblem. So that's changed. Um, I've also added uh, Cool Ice's XVM configuration file on this as well, which I did in between recordings. So as you can see, that's changed. We also have a uh, chance to win, which is, can be sometimes depressing, but I actually like the 50 percenters. I think they're, uh, you know, you can go either way. It can be a very, very good game. It's the way they all should be. 50 percent. Again. As you can see, it just works. It's a very easy system. Um, I will actually uh, link the download. Post this. So if you've got something you want me to take a look at, I'm quite happy to do that. Uh, it's something I've been thinking about for a while. I mean, obviously I've seen a few other people reload or doing people review tanks. Um, but I've never really seen anyone review any sort of new mods that come out. Um, so, um, <laughs> as you can see, that guy I just killed. Exactly that's it. So, if that's of interest to anyone, let me know. I'm quite happy to do it. I'm sure I'm going to review about it but for now that's it that's how you use the generic mod enabler very good system um, if something doesn't work you can just switch it off um, so you know, I just want to do it like that rather than fill up my um, resmods files with random stuff that I can't remember what they are this way it's nice it's clear it's clean um, and it does what it says on the box I highly recommend you using it. So, uh, this is goodbye from me for now, and I'll put all the relevant links in the post. And, um, well, see if you can use it, see if you can get on with it. Any questions?